Hey there, this is Mr. Florsky, and we're going to take a look at Section 3.2, Solving Systems of Equations Algebraically. This is Part 2 of the substitution and portion of this lesson, and we're going to take a look at problem solving today, how to write a system of equations for a given problem solving situation, and then solve the system itself. In this example, at Rinaldi's Pizza, a soda and two slices of pizza of the day cost $10.25. A soda and four slices of pizza of the day cost $18.75. Find the cost of each item. Well, to even do this, you need to be able to identify the variables. And to identify the variables in this problem, uh, we should look at what's being in question, what we don't know the prices of. We do not know the price of a soda. So I'm going to define S as the price of a soda. And P, we do not know the price of one slice of pizza, so P is going to be the price for a slice. Now, to write these equations, uh, it really comes down to some basic reading skills. At Rinaldi's Pizza, a soda, that means one soda and two slices of pizza, costs $10.25. That's our first equation right there. That gives, a, gives us a relationship between one soda, two slices of pizza, and the total cost. So taking this information here, S being the price of a soda, plus two pieces of pizza times the price for one piece is going to be equal to $10.25. The next sentence gives us another equation, a soda and four slices of pizza costs $18.75. So we can write a second equation. A soda plus four slices of pizza is equal to $18.75. As we did in the previous lesson or video on systems of equations, I think it's best that we label them A and B so it's easy to solve them. And the neat thing about this one is that they both both equations have the variable s having a coefficient of 1. So I'm going to take a slightly different approach than I did in earlier problems or earlier examples. I'm going to take equation a, I'm going to write it out. s plus 2p is equal to $10.25 and I'm going to solve it for s by subtracting 2p from both sides. When we do that, that tells us the price of a soda is equal to the opposite of two prices of pizza plus $10.25. Now I'm going to take equation B and I'm going to solve it for S2. S plus 4P is equal to 1850. I'm sorry, 1875. And I'll solve that by subtracting 4P from both sides. So S is equal to the opposite of 4P plus 1875. The key thing to see here is that both equations have S is equal to. So S is equal to this and S is equal to this. So what we can do is we can take these sections of the equation that are highlighted and set them equal to each other because they are both equal to S. So that would give us the equation 2P plus 10.25 or the opposite of 2P plus 10.25 is equal to the opposite of 4P plus 18.75. Now we solve this equation. We can solve it by adding 4p to both sides, giving us 2p on the left, the 4p and the minus 4p on the right cancel, and at the same time we can subtract 1025 from both sides, which ultimately gives us 8.5 or 850. Continue to solve. We divide each side by 2. And that leaves us with P is equal to 425. So the price of a soda is equal to $4.25. We'll need to take this P, put it into one of the original equations, and solve for S. Um, the equation S plus 2P is equal to 1025 should be easy enough to work with. Equation A. So we'll take equation A, which was S plus 2P is equal to 10.25.
replacing the P with 425, giving us S plus 2 times 425 is equal to 1025. Multiplying 2 times 425 gives us the equation S plus 850 is equal to 1025, and we subtract 850 from both sides. S is equal to then $1.75. So we can see our solutions. A price for a piece of pizza is $4.25, and the price for a soda is $1.75. There will be a third video on solving systems of equations using substitution, and that third video will be a second problem-solving situation.